HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. Hello, and welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we have scenes from the MLK Day of Service from this past Monday. The latest on Hiller Sports and Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. But first, Library Director Heather Bachman gave us an update on happenings at the Hopkinton Public Library. I am standing in front of our Lucky Day collection, um, which does not look like much of a collection right now because it has been so tremendously popular. This is something that we've just launched um, thanks to the Hopkinton Public Library Foundation, which is sponsoring the collection. And what it is, is it is the biggest, most popular books, the things that everybody is waiting for. And we have extra copies. They are not able to be placed on hold and they only circulate for two weeks with no renewals. So if you come in and that book that you've been waiting for on a really long hold list is on the shelf, it is your lucky day. And you can take it out if you can read it fast and get it right back on the shelf for the next person to read. Uh, as you can see, we've started with 25 copies and we have two right now. So people are really enjoying it. We're very thankful to the foundation for funding it. Terrific. Is it all kinds of different books? Right now it is largely adult fiction. So given the success, we're hoping that we might be able to expand it to you know, we would buy nonfiction for adults if, if there was something that was really popular, but hopefully we could even potentially expand it to teen books or children's books if we were able to um, figure out a way to do that. Terrific. And I understand you have some big news for us. We do. Um, many of our patrons who have been coming here would probably recognize Tony Alexander. She has been at the circulation desk for more than 30 years with us and um, has been here through six directors and taken on more and more, seen the library through a lot of changes. Uh, Tony has announced that she is going to be retiring at the end of February. So after amazing contributions to this library, uh, amazing connections with our patrons, she'll be moving to the next phase of her life and we're certainly going to miss her. Um, we're very glad that she's um, doing something that's great for her with her next step. Uh, we wish her the best, we're sure the community wishes her the best, and we certainly hope that folks come in over the next month or so and say goodbye if they want to say goodbye or tell her a little bit about what her time at the library has meant to them. Um, she's really been a fixture here, and it's going to be a different library without her, but we are um, very, very happy for her in her next step. We always have programs coming up. If you go to our calendar, at hopkintonlibrary.org. You can see everything that we've got. Um, just highlighting a few things that we have coming in the next month or so. We have launched a baby toddler story time. So this is a story time for the younger set. And that is running Tuesday mornings and one Monday evening per month. Uh, for the teens, on February 4th, we have a crafternoon. They will be making hanging gumball machines. Um, that is sign up only grade 6 to 12 on the afternoon of February 4th and that same evening Tuesday February 4th we have a talk on the roaring 20s from a historian so we're hoping people be interested in that we're also asking people to mark their calendars friends of the library are bringing mini golf back again and that will be on February 28th and 29th
The ballot machines were tested Friday morning at Hopkinton Town Hall in preparation for the special town election on Monday, February 3rd. Hi, this is uh, the machine test for the upcoming special town election. We are going to have three ballot questions going on. Uh, they're all going to be Prop 2.5 exemption questions. So right here we're just doing the machine test and that's just making sure that all the machines are reading everything properly. We create a, uh, a stack of test ballots that we already have a tally sheet verifying what the values are. So whenever we print out the receipt for the test it should come out equaling that. And it just verifies that everything is all set and ready for election day. Everything gets sealed up right after so it's all zeroed out and ready to go. And how are the machine tests going so far? Today? So far, they have been going smoothly. We haven't had a single hiccup when it comes to the numbers all adding up. Uh, so I, it's been, so far, what I would refer to as a very successful test. February 3rd, it'll be polls open at 7 o'clock, and the polls are open until 8. So come on down, cast your ballot, and if you can't make it, then absentees are available at the town clerk's office. And then just re-zero it. Okay. Okay, just reserve. All set, yep. Hiller Hockey and Basketball has been busy over the past couple of weeks. Here is the latest Hiller Sports update. The 10 0 and 0 Hopkinton Hillers hockey team took on Ashland this past Wednesday. The Hillers netted three goals in the first period, including this one three minutes into action. Side. Check, check there by Walsh. Weinstock with a shot. That is turned away, then it's popped in. Goal Hillers, Aiden Walsh on the rebound. Now Walsh started that play in the neutral zone, made a nice play to break up Ashland, and got rewarded by being in front for that open net. It's it up the near side of Walsh. Walsh trying to drive up ice. Here he comes, look out. Driving it, goal! Sean Walsh does it again! And forced out of the net there, and then it's popped in again! And that's Kyle Rogers. A great play by Rogers there. The goalie actually had it tied up, but Rogers was able to chip it free from under the glove and tuck it right in. 33 seconds into the second period, the Hillers netted another one. And Westwood, 4 5 and 1, rounding out the TVL large. Good tip in front there. I think Rogers is going to stick on that one. Oh, what a shot by Gilbert. He put it in. That went off the netting in the back. 4 0 Hillers. Ashland responded with a pair of goals of their own in the second, but the Hillers put them away with three more goals in the third. Merla, back to Kirk. Kirk looking for a shot and it's in! Dan Kirk! <laughs> Rogers over to Walsh, back to Rogers. With a shot and in! Oh boy! Kyle Rogers with the spin around. And Diavonzo's hand. The defense were trying to give it back to him, and as he's trying to give his stick back, Evan Mira says, I'm going to score right now. Well, it's now a scoring fest for the, the top scorers on the team. They've all uh, figured in here in about the last minute. Hopkinton takes the game 7-2 to two and improves to a perfect 11 wins, no losses, no ties on the season. Hopkinton boys and girls swimming recently improved to 9-2 and two on the season. They took down Westwood 99-76. The Hillers have won their last several meets and continue to flourish. Hillers boys basketball dropped a tough game to Somerville. The game was a scrimmage and doesn't count towards playoff seating. Overall, boys basketball is eight and four on the season, but at eight and three playoff seating wise. On Tuesday night, Hillers girls basketball dropped a tough one versus Holliston. It was a 40 to 36 final. The game went back and forth the entire way, but despite a great effort by the Hillers, Holliston pulled off the win. The young Hopkinton Hillers girls team are now three and six on the season. Coming up next, scenes from the Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service at Hopkinton Middle School. Plus, Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. A whole lot more ahead. Stay tuned.
HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Welcome back to HCAM News. This past Monday was Martin Luther King Day, and many Hopkinton students, scouts, and volunteers celebrated by giving back to their community. Here's a look. The annual Hopkinton Youth Commission Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service took place at Hopkinton Middle School. The event featured a number of activities for charitable causes and to give back to the community. Today we have cards, Valentine's cards being made for veterans. We have some bags being made for um, homeless shelters. We have some cancer care bags being made. We are added in this year a mural with the children where they decorate their hand and it will go on a mural that will be donated throughout the town. So we should have one for the library maybe to um, hang around this time of year, the town hall, um, and we hope each year that that will grow and we can add on to that. Yeah, so a lot going on, um, lots of different organizations with a church, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, um, just community members coming in to help. So, yeah, we're doing well this year. Terrific. It looks like there was a great turnout this year. There was a very good turnout this year. And I want to say maybe we can attribute some of that to we don't have snow this year. Because if anyone remembers this last year, we had a major storm the night before. Um, and we were still able to pull out a good turnout. But this year definitely showed that this weather was in our favor and community is definitely coming out to support the day today. The day was started off by a speech from Hopkinton High School graduate and co-founder of the company Jebit, Tom Coburn. My name is Tom Coburn. I moved to Hopkinton when I was two years old and uh, went to all the schools here, including playing a bunch of basketball in this gym. Uh, so I ended up after that going off to Boston College, uh, where I thought I was going to go to become a doctor. And I guess, quick show of hands, who watches the show Shark Tank? Anyone watch that show? A couple of people? Um, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this story, but I ended up pitching a business idea with my friends in a Shark Tank style competition that our school did. Um, and long story short, we ended up winning the competition and that was seven years ago and I still run that company today. Uh, the company is called Jebit. We're a digital marketing company. We work with big brands like the NFL and the NBA. Um, and we've raised about $22 million to date. And we've got 50 employees headquartered. Uh, most of the people are in Boston. So that's, uh, that's what I do for my day job with the large majority of my time. But as you also heard, I started a nonprofit, uh, or I, I co founded a nonprofit uh, with my eighth grade science teacher, Evren Gundes, who taught me in this building uh, a little bit around the corner from where we are right now. Throughout the day, scouts, members of the HHS National Honor Society and volunteers participated in a number of activities to give back to the community. We're doing a project on the Australian bushfire and the Australian bushfire is a big problem because if you look at this it's a little bad and if you sign that you can it's like it's like don't give up hope on Australia because of all the bushfires. Cool. And uh, what made you want to do this project? I wanted to do it so I can help the animals. Well, we're just making 
Valentine's cards for the veterans here. And cool. Just to Perfect. help them out. And what made you want to come and do this today? Um, well, you know, just wanted to be part of the community. And they really deserve to have some, show some appreciation. Um, this station is based on our Silver War project, which is about the physical and emotional benefits of a grateful heart. So right here, we have tons of different posters that you can take with um, different quotes, different mentos and stuff. And um, anyone can make a card for whoever they want. We deliver them to teachers. Uh, we have plenty of fun markers and colors for everyone. And yeah, so we're just trying to spread gratitude around Hawkington, so make everyone happier make the world a happier place, really. So Hawkington's the start of that, and especially at the school. And also, um, well, Adelaide Schuster, my friend's little sister, oh my god. <laughs> um, she passed away, but when she was alive, she worked with the Respite Center for lots of different di things, and we set up a little station down there on um, gratitude still, but it was for especially the Respite Center. We had lots of pictures, you could make cards, you could write down quotes that reminded you of the Respite Center, because it's a great place there, and it's, it's really awesome. So. Yeah, so um, right now we're making coloring books for the kids at Milford Regional. So we're making covers, and then we're picking pages, and tying them all together into a coloring book uh, to give to the kids who are in the hospital there. Um, I really like just like serving the community and I especially love working with kids and we've been able to do some of that um, helping you know kids color and put their books together uh, which just really brightens up my day especially on a day off. Uh, yeah, so I'm a junior. Um, a lot of us are juniors and seniors at Hopkinton High um, in the NHS program and uh, we're coming here and we're here with Miss Williams uh, to help out today and we've donated some items to the Respite Center as well. So. Oh yeah, what's going on here is uh, we're at uh, MLK Day at the middle school and uh, I'm part of Troop One Hopkinton and we're uh, Boy Scouts that are working to uh, create uh, little uh, gift bags full of things like uh, chapstick and nail files and things that people at the senior center will really enjoy and we're going to uh, give those out to people at the senior center so they can uh, over the winter have a little care package of uh, fun uh, activities and, and things for them to, to, to use, so the self care products and that sort of thing. Oh, well, you know, it's really it's uh, in honor of uh, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. You know, he's a big inspiration to us all because of, you know, his selflessness and uh, his courage. So we're uh, just really looking to help out the community in ways like, like he did uh, with uh, people like um, uh, with people like at the Senior Center, people who in need who, uh, who, who could use some help. So that, that's our objective, you know, community service. You know, I myself am an Eagle Scout, and uh, all my fellow Scouts out here are uh, doing their best to do work for the community. What are you doing here? Uh, what are you decorating these bags for? For cancer patients and just so they could feel good and get something so they know someone's caring for them and stuff. Someone's thinking about them. So today we are writing letters and drawing pictures for the local senior center, either Fairview Estates or Golden Pond, and we're just writing them to bring a little sunshine to them in the cold winter. Uh, we just wanted to give back to the community, especially because it's Martin Luther King Day, and just for fun. We're doing some arts and crafts. Uh, we have some peace signs. Um, we are doing, kind of talking about what dreams we have. Do you want to read us some of the dreams that you wrote down? So I wrote down to be a, to have world peace, to be a wrestler, and to be an NFL football player. Um, so we're, we're kind of just talking about how MLK gave this speech about how he had a dream and how we kind of have to follow our own dreams. So um, we're talking about we're doing clouds and we're just writing out what we have a dream about. And a lot of the kids have been really creative, and it's been really fun to kind of see what they've made. Um, so today we're making stress bottles. So we put glycerin and we put water and then we put some food dye in and then the kids get to pick whatever crafts they want to put in. Then we have a lot of selections of glitter. We have selections of little, just little beads you can put in there and they're having a great time. After a day of hard work to give back, attendees enjoyed some pizza and watched a very good basketball game between the Hopkinton Special Olympics team 
and the Hillers freshman. How did the game go today? The game went very well. It, it, we expected a tough battle and we got one. I was uh, knowing that the, the Hopkinton freshman team is undefeated. I knew we had our work cut out for us. <laughs> it went uh, right down the wire, but your team hung in there strong. We certainly did. We are learning to play a little more defense than we usually do. And today we had to. All right. Uh, it looked like you worked on a, a lot of shooting for today's game as well. That's probably the most important part of our game. As we, work on, as we try to work on other parts of the game, all they want to do is work on their shooting. And it paid off today. And how do they like playing against the freshman team? They, they seem to have playing fun. against the freshman team. One of our athletes who played today is a freshman girl who plays a very good freshman basketball, uh, or actually in the junior varsity, and she couldn't wait to play against her classmates. Terrific. Uh, anything uh, coming up for the uh, Special Olympic team? Well, we have the state games coming up in March. We have uh, community games coming up in February. And we have the long-awaited uh, game against the Hopkinton police in March sometime. As usual, a great turnout was on hand to give back to the community and honor one of the greatest in giving back and helping others, Martin Luther King Jr. A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channel. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello, Hopkinton. Matt Clark here to bring you everything happening this week on HCAM. So sit back and get ready for this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, January 24th at 5 p.m., local poets and musicians gather to share their work on a new open mic episode of Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. At 6.30 p.m., the Hillers boys basketball team takes on the Ashland Clockers, live in HCAM Ed. And at 9 p.m., Shara Peralt talks with longtime Hopkinton resident Marissa Jones on a new episode of Meet Your Neighbor. On Saturday, January 25th at 8 a.m., tune in for some classic cartoon shenanigans on a new episode of Toon Time. On Monday, January 27th at 7.30 p.m., the Hopkinton Planning Board meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And also at 7.30, Dr. Kavanaugh talks with members of the Elmwood School Administrative Team on a new episode of Highlights from the Hill on HCAM Ed. On Tuesday, January 28th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers girls basketball team takes on the Westwood Wolverines, live on HCAM Ed. On Wednesday, January 29th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers girls basketball team takes on the Westboro Rangers, live on HCAM Ed. And on Thursday, January 30th at 8.30 p.m., Arthur and Amy sit down with tax aid volunteer Gene Warden, on a new episode of Frank and Mary and Hopkinton. And also on HCAM Ed, the Hillers Ice Hockey vs. Dober Sherbin game and the Swimming vs. Dedham meet will air. If you want to know more about all of HCAM's shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash newsletters, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the Hopkinton community calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care, and we'll talk to you again soon.
so it couldn't happen without you. I want to also say a really quick thank you to all of my Youth Commission members. You guys, they all work tirelessly to pull this event off and could not do it without every one of them. And Youth and Family Services, who is always right behind us helping us pull these type of events off. So thank you very much. And I'm going to thank everyone for keeping quiet. I'm going to hand it over to Stacia, who's going to welcome Tom. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thank you very much for coming today, as Donna said. Um, I just want to take an opportunity to, before we introduce Tom, we're going to introduce some people whose lives he's touched. Um, and uh, Tom is well known as the co-founder of Jebit, but more importantly in town, he's best known as one of the co-founders for Enjoy Life Leadership Academy. And we asked Tom to speak because, as we all know, Martin Luther King Day is about the spirit of community, it's about the spirit of a day on, not day off, and it's really important for people to think about what the day is for what it means to you. So, um, Tom is here to, to give us um, a, a talk, and um, before he starts, I want to invite Tom Burtonshaw. Johnson, I always do that because I know your mother's name. I want to invite Tom Johnson up. He's going to introduce Tom and give you a little bit more information about how he knows him. Yes, that's a good point. Of course, I forget the most one of the more important pieces. Um, at the front of the, um, a couple of, of notes about today. So some folks are wandering around with some passports for peace, and it gives you an opportunity to visit each table. We're both in the cafeteria and the gym today. At the front of the building, there's also a box where they're collecting some donations. We're hoping to help kind of fund a um, scholarship for to maybe send a local student to Enjoy Life Academy as well. So, on that note, I'm going to hand it over to Tom. All right. Hi, everybody. So, uh, I'll talk a little about Enjoy Life. Enjoy Life is a, uh, a one-week academy over the summer where you go and you learn how to better yourself, how to become a better leader. Stuff like that. Uh, me and Nate, we both went, and uh, I think I took a lot out of it. I think Nate did too. We go and uh, we learn how to better ourselves, how to uh, empower other people, how to lead other people to success. And I think it's a great uh, uh, leadership role you can take, and uh, I, I definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to take it over the summer. That's it. All right, that'll be it. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Can you guys hear me through this? All right, awesome. Uh, thank you everyone for having me. Uh, as you heard, my name is Tom Coburn. I moved to Hopkinton when I was two years old.